that's just amazing for me to see where it came from just small hotel ballrooms small land centers my mom's basement to selling out Madison Square Garden selling out the Staples Center in minutes as well Abramu already got the talk down on his stick say make it to team dignitas like there is no surprise anymore and the, the numbers make sense and they're big so whenever I hear a stat I just kind of like nod give a little wink and chuckle because it's just going to get bigger. Like we've just barely scratched the surface. Being a professional gamer, I never thought that I could make a career out of doing something that I love and that I'm so passionate about, which is video games. It was just a, a thing to do on the weekends. Now there's million dollars tournaments, there's 18 million dollar tournaments. That's something we never saw years ago. I can't tell you how many calls I received. I mean, north of 50 phone calls from pretty significant executives saying, okay, tell me what you're doing, explain to me again what it is, and most importantly, who do I call to try to get engaged? Esports are starting to look more and more like regular sports. Last year, the Philadelphia 76ers became the first North American team on the scene. They bought the UK-based Team Dignitas. This is an organization that is not done growing, so I think it fits really nicely in the portfolio. It's a very, very young demo, and the space is exploding. Dignitas is really five teams that compete globally. One of their standouts are the women playing Counter-Strike Global Offensive. These women have made a name for themselves as one of the top teams in the world. And that's overall, not just among female teams. We're putting in the same amount of effort that the best male teams put in, in in the world. I think in the beginning, just female gamers were kind of scared to come out and say, hey, I like to play this game too, because there was a lot of males that are playing. But I try to inspire other gamer girls who want to do what we do. My team, at least, we don't view ourselves as female gamers. We view ourselves as just gamers. We're studying tape, we're doing individual practice, and now that we have the backing of the Sixers, we're treated just like the NBA athletes, so we had access to uh, nutritionists, sports psychologists, team doctors, all of this that's helping support us as athletes. But Dignitas might not have that edge for long. Owners of other major sports franchises are investing in esports and creating teams of their own. We want pros to be able to have long, successful careers, and we felt that bringing some stability would allow that to happen. We want teams and sponsors to be able to invest for the long term. If they want to build a practice facility or invest in infrastructure, uh, knowing that they can do that with an investment horizon that will allow them to get a payback on that investment uh, is important. And we think all of those things will help to make North America more competitive, because if you look at the best leagues in the world, they're investing for the long term. They've got the infrastructure. They've got the additional coaches and nutritionists and facilities to really make a run at it. Esports revenue is growing. Last year, revenues reached $493 million, and it's projected to reach $1.5 billion by 2020. Just seeing people cheer for you and show that they care for you is like a, a really nice feeling. I don't think any of us expected anyone would be cheering for us a couple years ago. Could esports' next big move be to the Olympics? The organizer for the 2024 Paris Summer Games is bringing the case for the inclusion of esports to the IOC. I think that the best sports in the world tend to make it into the Olympics, and if we're lucky enough for that to happen, and for it to happen in the right way, we don't want it to be forced, it should be organic and not uh, like a novelty, but something that is part of the Olympic Games because it's a, a meaningful sport for a lot of people around the world, which it is and we believe will continue to be, then I think it can make a lot of sense. We're all competitors and I don't really care who we play against, I just want to compete and I want to win. Yeah, when we started this team, we just wanted to be a really good team in general. We don't care who we play against, um, we don't care what tournaments we participate in, we just want to do whatever it takes to be the best.